Well, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the cabin. What I'm doing is working on the kitchen countertop and I had to trim this off because I do have another piece that goes against the wall um, in there in the kitchen. What I've got is a glaze coat here. I'm going to show you. This is what I'm applying. Uh, it's supposed to have a mirror-like finish. Now, I've never done this before, so you can't blame me if it doesn't turn out right. No, just teasing. Um, this will be the first time I've actually used anything like this, but the directions were fairly simple. So, what I'm going to do is I'll undo all this hardware. We'll slide it over into place, and we'll see if we can get this applied.
Well, I don't really have like a blow dryer or a heat gun or anything. I have the torch, but I think that that would be too much. Um, I think you're supposed to use that like on some little fine bubbles or something, but I don't have one and they are so minute and so fine. Um, it actually does not look bad at all. So I'm really excited about them getting dried and um, getting them in place and put in there in the kitchen. So. We're supposed to have uh, cooler weather tonight, so I'm going to have some help to help bring the big one up here on the deck at least overnight. So, anyway, yeah, first time ever, I guess you would call it glaze coating, um, anything really. So, what not, didn't turn out too bad. Well, we had some pretty rough winds the other night, and it actually brought down half of a yellow pine, actually. Went up about 20 feet, split, and it broke in half and landed about, I don't know, I'd say maybe 40 feet from the cabin. So, it wasn't long ago that I had to take a tree down that was going to hit the cabin during the snowstorm. And I got it cleaned up. Now I've got another one uh, blocking the driveway. So I want to go ahead and get fired up here and get to sawing some wood.
Well, I just got done installing these two pieces and they actually look really, really good. Um, I had an idea that they would look good, but I'm really impressed with that finish. Now, there are a few blemishes on here that I couldn't see yesterday, but I see them today. So what I may do in the future, not anytime soon, but I may buy some more of that stuff and right here in place, tape off the outside edge because I'm going to run a, a um, caulking back here and then I've got this strip that still goes in here um, and i got to do the other side but I will do it right in place um, put the tape back up here and pour it again I'll have a nice really thick coating of this and it will really look good I would have liked to have had the other but both this end and that end were warped uh, uh, they twisted actually on me and they were opposite of each other and uh, it was just beyond the point where I wanted to try to pull it down but I'll tell you what I'm just as proud as this because this color actually matches what I did up here and my son said burn it dad uh, just lightly I did and I think it really turned out great so um, I don't know if I'll probably get to the doors after planting season but that's the next thing is to get these doors uh, done and get all of that trim down there put on so yeah really turned out great It's April and it's been spitting some snow. Good news is the chickens still decided to lay. Um, we've got a total of 12 eggs today. Dad did not pick them up yesterday, but look how beautiful. Um, I'm gonna take one of these home to my house and to my aunts. Yeah, and we got more sitting up here on the shelf, ready to go. Um, what we've decided to do, since it's such a nasty day outside, um, we're going to go ahead and cut a hole in here for this sink. Um, this is the one that I chose to go in there. It's a deep well sink. Um, so I'm going to get my tools out. We'll get this marked out. Now, this is in place. Um, this just gives me a better idea. It's a little bit more messy to do this, but it gives me um, more of an idea of where to put this sink at. Now, um, I carry this thing back and forth three times. Um, it's actually very, very heavy and very awkward. So 
um, I decided to go ahead and screw it down and I will just cut this hole out in place. So let me get my tools and we'll get busy. Well guys, we've got everything put back up here. We still got to pull everything out on the bottom and vacuum down there, but um, we are now ready for some faucets to go back there and the connection uh, to be made as far as the plumbing goes um, that will actually finish this portion right here. Uh, and then the utility area and then the bathroom. But I'm glad to get the sink in here because this will make it really nice for washing dishes. Hey, my son Patrick, my daughter Jennifer, and I, we really thank you guys for stopping by and hanging out. We hope that you're enjoying all of these final touches and all the new projects that we are getting ready to undertake. Um, but anyway, you know, if you're new to this channel, be sure and go check out our other channel, Outpost Review. It's behind the scenes vlog on what's going on up here. Go check out SmokeyMountainOutpost.com because we do monthly giveaways as well. You can find all the information there on how to enter. So guys, we want to wish you, uh, each and every one of you, a great afternoon. You all take care. Be we look, safe. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time. Bye.